This unbelievable paper just came out last week and showed that if they put cerebrospinal fluid from young mice into the brains of old mice, the mice got better at memory. Cerebrospinal fluid, or CSF, is the juice that surrounds and fills the brain. We all have it. It's mostly there to provide nutrients, clear waste, and cushion the brain from damage. They transplanted CSF from 10-week-old mice into 20-month-old mice, which is like putting CSF from a 20-year-old human into a 70-year-old human. And they found that it improved a form of long-term memory in the aged mice. So is the fluid where the memories are stored or something? Actually, they found that the young CSF boosted the growth of brain cells called oligodendrocytes, which provide the fatty myelin sheath on brain cells that allow them to conduct their signals. So it seems that the young CSF was improving brain function by making it easier for brain cells to transmit their signals. They found that it specifically acted on a protein called FGF17, which steadily decreases in the brain as we age. And if they just activated FGF17 with no young cerebrospinal fluid, it had the same effect on memory. The scientists are here at Stanford with me, and I actually spoke to the first author, Tal, about this. She wants the world to know that this research was intended to understand aging and the role of CSF. She does not have a master plan to harvest CSF from young people and put it into old people. And finally, she thinks we should all appreciate the incredible role of myelination and oligodendrocytes in this discovery. Thank you so much for watching, and follow me if you'd like to join our little neuroscience community.